All right, Mr. Mill here. Welcome back to another video. Over here, I have another book for you guys. This one's called Miffy x Rembrandt. So Miffy is the bunny character and Rembrandt is the famous artist I want to talk about. He's a famous Baroque painter uh, based off the 17th century and he was a really good at Baroque painting, kind of like after the Renaissance. And uh, his influence was, or sorry, his main uh, thing that he did was create paintings, like really large paintings, uh, and it kind of emphasized on a figure using light. So when it comes to Renaissance painting, they tried to spread out the light evenly, so it's like more like uh, like displayed and stuff, so it's like more purposeful. Uh, Rembrandt made Baroque painting. Baroque painting is kind of like, kind of focused on a figure. So think of like when you're on Instagram and you're trying to like uh, focus like a vignette on a photo, so it's like nice and dark in the background and like it's not so blurry in the middle or in the section that you're trying to focus on, like food or something like that. That's kind of what Baroque painting is when it comes to Rembrandt in like the very quick logical sense. So um, I have this book here, Miffy x Rembrandt, and it basically it's going over uh, just two different artists, the artists of Miffy and then Rembrandt. So I'm going to open the book up, we'll go from there. Miffy x Rembrandt, or Miffy and Rembrandt, I think that's what the X stands for. All right, Rembrandt and Dick Brunna. Uh, Dick Brunner is the artist of the, the Rabbit, are both Dutch and both world famous. In this book, you will find lots of wonderful works they created. Although their pictures may look very different, lots of things are the same. They both painted people, animals, and landscapes, but each did so in their own way. Join Miffy as she takes a look at Rembrandt's art and discovers similarities and differences. So, let's get going. Alright, Martin and Upjen are dressed as smartly as the king and queen. Can you see what looks the same? Have you checked their shoes? Huh, look different. Look at that. Next page. Ooh, what have them, or what gave them such a fright? Remember, I like to do a lot of sketches too, so it's pretty cool. We are both wearing pretty dresses. Which is prettiest? I'm gonna have to go with the bunny. A self-portrait is a picture of yourself. Have you ever drawn a self-portrait? How can you stand out in a group? Do you first notice someone wearing something different or someone acting differently? Very dark imagery. What I was talking about. What is the same? Look at the colors that have been used. What is the old man feeling? And what about Miffy? How are you feeling today? Can you see the sun shining from behind the clouds? The old lady and Miffy are both reading a book. What's your favorite book? Crowd, crowd. <laughs> Who has the nicest hat? I don't know, his hat's pretty fancy. Do you see that big boat? Boris would love to give it a try. This is a painting of Miffy's friend, Melanie. The other painting is of Saskia, Rembrandt's wife. Dick Brunna and Rembrandt were both very good at drawing themselves, but why were their eyes so hard to see? This instrument is called a cello. It makes beautiful music. Do you see the cello in the painting? This is Rembrandt's son, Titus. He isn't looking at us, just like Mickey. How odd! These two lines don't look very dangerous at all. Why is that? How do you know they love each other? Who would you like to give a big hug? And that's it. And then, end credits. That's the end of the book. Uh, I don't really have an art project for you guys. It's really hard to, for me to emphasize Rembrandt in an in a art activity for elementary art. Um, but we, we could talk about it, right? So if you look at a couple of these images, I do want to talk about um, some things that emphasize why uh, his art is so prominent and so important to us. Let's see, this one right here. So this guy is an old man and uh, he's kind of like, and it's like a nature setting. And uh, what does your eye get drawn to first? So is it the bushes over here? 
Is it like the stones over here? No, it's where the light is. So the light is pointing at the figure of the man, his forehead in particular, <laughs> and the jewels in front of him right here. His like a little stash of treasure right there. So uh, what Rembrandt did uh, compared to uh, the Renaissance is that the Renaissance had like lighting everywhere so you could see everything. Uh, Baroque style, the light is focused in a one specific spot. So uh, you can see it again here in the clouds. It's really focused over here. You're not really focusing on the bridge too much. It's very dark. Um, but then your eye goes to it later on because you're trying to discover the whole painting. Um, and it really works over here. That's why the woman's uh, shadow or his, her face is very uh, like dark. But you can see like the lettering very nicely. Well, obviously you can't read it though. And over here, you're not focused on the girl over here like right away. You're not focused on the crowd back here. You're really focused on these two figures or these three figures right here in particular. And that's playing with the light. So uh, I don't really have a project emphasizing that part of the Baroque period and Rembrandt. So instead, I made this a worksheet. So, so I got this idea from playing Animal Crossing. I'm not sure if you guys have been doing a lot of things in quarantine, but I've been doing a lot of video gaming. And I've been playing this game called Animal Crossing New Horizons. And uh, there was a new update recently, uh, which added uh, an art museum to the museum itself. And uh, I came across uh, a painting that looked very familiar because I'm an art history major when I was in college and then I went to grad school for art education. But that's besides the point. The point is I recognize this painting and it was a Rembrandt. And uh, basically what you have to do is that if it's a fake, you can't sell it to the museum so they can display it. But if it's real, which mine was thankfully, I was able to sell it and then I gave you guys a couple of breakdown of the information. So I'm going to show you guys a clip right here or here. I don't know where I'm going to post it. Uh, the in-game file of what it's going to look like. And uh, I thought, hey, why not do a Rembrandt video? So here we are. It says Rembrandt the Brook Painter. And what I'm going to do for you guys is try to do my best to try to make a, a sheet for you guys to color if you guys would like that. My idea of having a fun project for you guys is to make something. So Rembrandt is right here. He's facing us and he's kind of like painting something over here. So I'm going to leave his canvas uh, blank, but his paintings were large. So I'm going to make this a large one and it's a blank canvas so I'm gonna make it nice and big and thick. If you guys don't know what a canvas is, it's kind of like a piece of paper but it's stretched onto wood and it's a uh, fabric kind of. Sorry, It's not like fabric but it's like you know a stretch canvas onto a, a wooden plank or a wooden board. Not wood board, wood, just wooden sticks. Hard to explain, sorry. It's gonna be an easel. It's gonna be sitting on the easel. There you go. Then I can try to draw the stakes where it's sitting on. There's one, here's two, and then the third one is the back leg. There we go. There we go. All right. All right, there we go. Second one, and the other one, the other arm. There we go. All right. This is looking fabulous so far. All right, so he's gonna be facing us. He has a mustache. How big is his mustache? It's kind of like a small one. So I'm gonna draw kind of like a big nose like this. Pencil nose or pencil mustache. Has one of these berets. And then, was his hair long? I don't know. Let's see. Poofy hair. Poofy hair. Let me just kind of look like this. And then I'm going to draw his eyes. Chin. Let's see, what kind of clothing did you have? All right, kind of like the old school clothing. So I'm gonna draw a V, kind of like an X, going like that. And then his arms kind of like holding a brush, baggy clothing. He's gonna be holding a brush.
16th. There you go. All right. And it's kind of like tucked in like this. Let's see, should I have them waving? Let's make them waving. That'd be kind of cool, right? What does he have? Kind of like an outfit, kind of weird. It's hard to explain his outfit. I shouldn't have to explain his outfit. <laughs> His hand's a little messed up, I'll fix it later. <laughs> Alright, he's sitting on a stool, wooden stool. There you go. Maybe have a crack in it somewhere. There you go. Old school. Some pillar right here. Alright. Put on the back, connected to the other part of the leg. He has a foot, and penny loafers, kinda. There you go. Other leg of the chair. All right. Let's create the flooring. All right, I think I'm done. I just gotta clean up a little bit. Boom. I think that's it. So that's my version of Rembrandt in my style. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll leave a link somewhere on uh, where to get this photo so you guys can color it. And you guys can draw whatever you want in the back. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys next time.